Look, now we're going to go, uh, look, Ototo is in the deep south. We're going to go to Gore, the Gore District, the wonderful Gore District, home of trout fishing, country music, um, Gore and, and the Southland Draw. Gore's in a bit of an uproar in Gore, uh, particularly amongst farmers, as the new district plan for the Gore District has got a provision, and it's been debated at the moment, that all of the Gore District... All of the Gore District is an area of significance to Māori. Now, you see, what district plans around the country do is uh, they invite Māori and local iwi and everything to say, are there any areas in our catchment, uh, in our district, that, like, have burial sites or have particular cultural significance? Because you want to make a note of that and you want to be sensitive to it as you went around planning for the future and doing stuff. But Ngai Tahu, the big tribe down on the South Island and the mainland, they've just said to the Gore District Council, look, all of your area is significant to us, which kind of, a cynic might say, gives them the ability to clip the ticket and ask for a little bit of a backhander when any, ever anyone does anything in the Gore District. And this has some people concerned, particularly Federated Farmers. We're joined now by Jason Herrick. Jason is the... Um, President of Southland Federated Farmers. G'day. Good morning, Sean. How are we getting on? Very well, thank you. Well, geez, this is a pretty broad net that the Gore District plan would spread over development and all sorts of works and projects in the Gore District if every single part of the place is significant to the Māori. Yeah, correct. It, it makes uh, operational on a daily basis uh, fairly impossible, um, especially when it comes to capital infrastructure or repair work of damage to a uh, adverse event. So, you know, um, as far as a farmer is concerned, they, they would like to know where these areas of significance are so they can get on and, and make those decisions on a daily basis without having to consult um, with a uh, cultural uh, assessment. So, Are you, you know, saying that um, in theory you wanted to feed out on a paddock because the paddock's culturally significant, you might have to go and consult with the local iwi or get a certificate or a or a pass to be allowed to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's the extreme, but that's the, that's the path that's heading down, right? And uh, it'll just cause division and angst in amongst iwi and farmers. Um, you know, my, myself personally, I've got a foot in both camps. I've got strong family significant ties to iwi, um, but also European. And uh, I myself, in my, my opinion, uh, I'd rather work together than uh, than be divided. So, you know, for the for the on on the council's part too, Sean, it's actually a part of laziness rather than putting the pressure on Naitahu saying to, to, to ask them where those areas of significance are, um, so everyone can you know pinpoint mm-hmm. and know exactly where they are. Um, they've just gone with the flow here, and and that just seems to happen right well, across I'm the board. Well, I'm sorry. It's like Naitahu came along and sold ice cream to Eskimos, mate. Absolutely, um, 100% agree. Um, it, it, again, it's just bureaucracy at its best, um, and they'd rather do what's easy than do what's right. All right. This has not been decided yet, correct, Jason? No, it hasn't. It's still open up uh, for uh, consultation right through to March next year. Okay, so what is our feds doing about it? And, and what do you suggest um, people who are concerned about? Well, I, I guess the first thing is you publicise this this madness, but what can be done to stop it? Well, we've got to put pressure on the council, um, you know, to do what's right here, uh, rather than uh, chasing the uh, the rabbit across the across the paddock. Um, yeah. You know, do, do the job so people can get on and, and operate on their daily lives. It won't just affect farmers, it will affect everybody. Yeah. And I take it, Jason, that farmers and, and you have got no problem with sites and areas that are culturally significant being protected and being given consideration in a district plan. Absolutely, we, we don't. You know, there are already areas of significance that are being protected by farmers. I've been to visit a few of them myself with the local Runanga. So, you know, it is it is important to farmers that we identify these sites and we do protect them. Mm. Have you guys talked to Naitahu? Not directly, but uh, I had that in the pipeline. Yeah, that would seem to me to be a way uh, forward uh, too. Who are the politicians, the local body politicians, who haven't done their job here? So we're in discussions with our local MPs yeah. um, and, uh, and they are of the same opinion. So... 
you know, it's... it's I'm just, a, I was actually, Jason, no, I won't be around the bush, so I was giving you a chance to name and shame the bozos who uh, are proposing this. I'm, I'm all about uh, uh, attacking the issue, not the person. So, oh, um, diplomat. 